Well, guys, we're here live at NATDA, and we got Jeff with us from Warrior Winch and Kiefer. And this is, I guess you'd say the official first day, even though it starts at one. Yeah. First day, first episode. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Uh, Let's get straight to the point. This is what you do and what you don't do. No bullshit. Sugar coat when it comes to repairs and make How are your travels over here? Not too bad. Pretty, pretty straightforward, long. Got a caught with the jet lag, but other than that, no problems. How, how many hours of a flight was that? Um, in total, about 11 hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, 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 that's that's cool. a pretty good flight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for, our, for the listeners and the viewers, where are you from? Where, where's home? My home is uh, near Manchester in England, UK. So uh, we, uh, that's where our business uh, was originally. It originated, and then now it's grown, and we have our presence in North America as well. Awesome. So, Jeff, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into the business? What do you do? Um, I got into, we have a group of companies, and one of the main brands within our group is Warrior Winches. Uh, and that was the brand that the business was started on over 20 years ago. So I got into winches 20 years ago in the UK because... I have some friends who have uh, tow, truck, tow truck companies. Um, they were not happy with what was available in terms of product for, for their operation. So I thought maybe I could solve some problems for them. So I did a bit of research, uh, found the manufacturer that I work with still today, 20 years later, developed our own products, and that's got into the market and then grew from there every year for 20 years. I'd say 20 years ago till now, you definitely found your way. Yeah. You found your success in that and, you know, found some solutions there. Absolutely, yeah. And the company name originally was Winch Solutions because that's what we, we wanted to do and that's what we still do. We, we're there to solve the customer's problems, to help the customer get the job done, especially in the industrial sector, in the trailer, tow truck, military. We want to help the customer get the job done in the safest possible manner. Absolutely. Uh, so you mentioned that you had some other businesses. We have some other brands within our businesses, okay. yes. Yeah, so we sell portable generators as one brand. We sell um, battery-operated equipment. We have a range of top garden equipment, power tools equipment. They're more established in Europe, but our winch business is pretty much international, UK, Europe, and obviously now uh, North America. So which so out of your entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey which 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 of these brands has been like it's probably going to be the winches but has been like your baby that you have just loved and adored and just grown the winches is the baby because it was the first first brand that we started with it's the one that the company foundations was ultimately built on so everything we did since was built on the foundations of our our winch business it's always the closest to my heart and it's um it's the one where the type of customer is also the kind of guys I like to do business with, especially in the industri industrial sector. They're typically three, four, five generation family businesses where basically a handshake is a deal. Um, in other sectors of the business, we operate at maybe a much more corporate level with DIY chains, this kind of thing. Yeah. It's very different values, very different way of doing business. But I much prefer the, the, if you like, the old-fashioned way of doing business in terms of do what you say you're going to do, do you're, it well, do it consistently. Your word is your bond. Yeah, yeah. and if you, <coughs> we all make mistakes. Correct your mistakes, all your hand up. And if our customers have a problem, then fix the problem. So we're, we're going to be interviewing a lot of people. And we have had a lot of or some different faces on the show from time to time, but most of those people are from America, do business in America. They don't really go past that. Yeah. So with your experiences and the journey that you've been on, going from the UK and jumping the pond with your business, what was that like? Like stressful, crazy? Yeah, I mean, the values are the same, I think, uh, in terms of, the basic values of doing business, we're, we're very much about forming partnerships, long-term partnerships. So, and a partnership means that both parties benefit, not one 
party has 95% yeah. benefit, the other has yeah. that's other people's definitions. So that bit is the same. I think the people are great people. Uh, they value honesty, hard work, trust. Uh, that bit's the same. The sheer, the sheer scale of the country is a little bit different. That's so all in terms of logistics. Um, but I liken USA to Europe. So we have um, distribution all over Europe. The difference between the two is Europe is multiple countries. USA is multiple states. Yeah. The problems are very similar. It's really? how, you, how you basically do you distribute your product? How do you look after the customers across such a, a big area? Um, and we think we've solved those problems. You know, we've got uh, warehouses in multiple locations. We've got uh, warranty centers in multiple locations. So we kind of, we think we figured that out now to do the best job we can for the, our North American customers. But yeah, I, I would say the big difference is just the sheer scale. And you have a a huge presence with some of these large, the larger, more set companies. So you have, I believe, Raw Max uses y'all's product. Yeah. Diamond C uses y'all's product. Um, uh, Delco, Horizon, yeah, I think. Horizon nationwide. Yeah. Uh, so. There's a, a number of uh, military manufacturers using our product in North America yeah. as well now. And yeah. I'm excited because we just got y'all's product into our shop, and we're going to start selling some of y'all's winches here at our shop in Texas and hopefully become a distributor for y'all and, and help both of us grow. Absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah. But no, that, that's awesome. Um, what are, what, what is your, what are your thoughts or your goals for here for the show this week? One is obviously meets. We've got a, as you said, we probably got winches on 75%, maybe 80% of the vehicles here, which is, is great to see. Yeah. Um, Cause we've only been, really in this country for less than a year. Um, so cement those relationships is one. The guys that we're already working working with find out how we can do an even better job. Yep. Obviously the 25% that we haven't got. Oh yeah, we want definitely. That, you know, we need to understand why, because we think there's no real reason. Um, our product pretty much wins in every department, um, and our, our service, we think. Um, so for that. And then promote the brand. We're a new brand. We're very aware that we're a new brand. We're, we're, we're up against some really established brands, in, in, particularly in, in the USA, because uh, we, we have a presence in Canada as well. But, you know, but they're not necessarily doing a good job just because they've been here for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I will say that. Yeah. I, will, yeah. I will agree with you on that because we were using one of your competitors yeah. and... It was hard to get any kind of product. Yeah. We can put a PO in two months, three months in and still have no product in hand. And customers don't like that. And so far with our experience with y'all, I mean, it's been a smooth sailing through the whole process. So, And that's like, we, we try to, particularly with manufacturers, they have a lot of components on their vehicle. The winch is just one of them. Yeah. We want to make the purchase of our product the simplest and the easiest. So we don't ever want to give them a reason to change. So a, a real part of what we're trying to do at all exhibitions, because we attend quite a few, is just get the message across. The products, is, we have a fantastic product. We know that. We can match it against everybody's. And there's quite a lot of problems in the winch market in, in the USA, as, as you've just outlined. The inventory seems to be a problem. Yeah. Customer support seems to be a problem from multiple manufacturers. Well, we have inventory of every product in our warehouse. We'll deliver it in two to seven days on anything, any line. That, that alone yeah. is phenomenal with dealing with the winches and supply chain oh, yeah. and that kind yeah. of stuff. So, of course, you put your winches on trailers. Absolutely. 100%. How's, that, uh, how's the off-road market and some of the other industries that use your product performing these days for you here? Well, we prioritize what we call the industrial market. So that's trailer manufacturers, uh, tow truck manufacturers, tow truck users, uh, tow truck companies, uh, trailer users uh, as well. So the end user as well, not just the manufacturer. So military applications. So anything that fits into the indus in industrial catalog uh, is our priority. But we also have a whole range of ATV, power sports, automotive winches. Um, We've actually got one of our new automotive winches here just to, to show people a uh, brand new design that is going to be launched in the market in the next uh, 12 months. So we'll go in that market slowly, slowly. Um, it's very competitive. Um, again, we've got to tell people what it is that we do yeah. different. 
Um, we can compete probably uh, from a price perspective. But again, we think we offer more than that. It's the whole package. It's the whole... Because they, they're not perfect. They have problems. Sometimes yeah. a customer causes a problem. Sometimes a product causes the problem. The important thing to, to me is to be there if there is a problem. Yes, and absolutely. Respond quickly and, that's and, what and you said fix about. it. Yeah. yeah. So and to me, that is just a question of values, being honest, transparent, um, and just wanting to do business in the right way. Maybe it's a little bit old-fashioned. I don't know. But it's served honestly me, that a lot more of the old fashioned is needed today. It's yeah. served me well yeah. for twenty years. So, I, uh, and that is it, it, that runs through the heart of our company. That is the values that everybody in my company um, lives by. Uh, we, we recruit people specifically who think the same way. Um, sometimes, all of the job expertise, um, we can teach that, but we can't treat. You can't teach, teach the core values of, exactly. of what a person yeah. has. So yep. yeah, so industrial, we're we're making a good strong start. Uh, we want to grow even further, and then on what we call the consumer, so more the ATV, automotive, uh, four by four market. We have got a full range, and we're out there for people who want to get the products on the on the website warriorwinches.com, um, and we'll do it step by step to make sure we do a good job. That's awesome. And I know, so I'm on Diamond C's form uh, for the trailer owners. Same with PJ and a couple of different manufacturers. And you, I see a lot of customers or a lot of end users say. You know, debate go back and forth between the synthetic rope and the wire cable. Yep. And they they're they argue that one is better the better over the other. Um, can you share, shed some light on that? On well, our preference, uh, and we would always uh, promote synthetic over steel, um, primarily because it's from a safety aspect. Um, it can do everything that steel can do. But it's less likely to kill you if there's a problem. Yeah. yeah. And then no corrosion yeah. and yeah. Yeah. So there's there's multiple benefits. But I understand some of the uh resistance to that from more traditional approach to winching. You know, steel feels a lot stronger than yeah. synthetic. But you know, we have all the test data. We have a we, our synthetic rope that we offer on our products is a, a little bit different. So there's two problem two things gotta consider with any rope. One is is the tensile strength. So the pull capacity, but then also particularly in the trailer manufacturing, you get a lot of abrasion across the trailer deck. Yeah. And that's the bit I think people worry about for a synthetic rope. But we have a rope that's basically got this, the better tensile strength than any steel rope equivalent. So, you know, uh, if we put a 10 mil synthetic, it's more stronger, probably 25% more stronger than a 10 mil steel. But all our, all our industrial winches come, the synthetic has a special sheath wrapped around it. So it's got a, the core rope with a, like, a little protective jacket on it. And oh, I, don't cool. mean, I don't mean just like the, the four meters that you get at the end. The whole of the winch rope, 80 oh, the feet, whole. has a polyester cover on it. And what that's designed to do is basically protect it from the abrasion. So it's a, it's a little bit more sophisticated than the average synthetic rope. And that's what we offer on all our industrial winches. And for me, that would be the one that I would always choose. Heck yeah. Um, let's. Cool. You good? I'm good. So what are your plans for, you kind of mentioned that you're slowly working into the consumer end. Uh, so you have the B two B, you know, with the the manufacturing, the distrib the distribution companies, that kind of thing. Are you looking at partnering with the ATV companies and like the more consumer minded instead of industrial, or are you planning to like sell straight to consumers when it comes to like the off roading winches and the, the ATV and vehicle stuff? A little bit of both. So of both. where there is a, a manufacturing application for an ATV or a four by four winch we would be very keen to work with the manufacturers for all the reasons that we've already outlined we think we, we have a good product and we back it up with the right values and the right service we also have uh, our own direct retail of, of our uh, ATV automotive and automotive winches so you can get them on Amazon uh, right now you can get them via our website warriorwinches.com 
Um, and we will probably work with a select number of distributors. Uh, that's typically our model. We don't want to work with everybody because we feel that it doesn't really add value. So we'll sell direct and then we'll work with a select number of um, distributors on that range of products uh, across um, across North America. So if, if anybody's interested, then, then they can contact us directly. So warriorwinches.com. Yep. You can find your stuff on Amazon. Amazon, warriorwinches.com is both, uh, it's split when people see it. It's got all the industrial products on it. It's got all our uh, ATV 4x4 products. It's got some pretty cool stuff on it that I believe nobody else is, does. So if you go on warriorwinches.com, you can see a, a video of every one of our winches being tested to full load. So all our winches will do more than we say they can do. Um, so you can see the videos of that. Don't just awesome. take our word for it. You can see our winches being tested to 150% of the rated load on the brake. We can prove we can do that. We have some data on durability. For example, our industrial winches, we, can we test a thousand times, a thousand cycles, which if you use your winch once a day, that's equivalent of three years. If you use your winch once a week, that's the equivalent of 12 years. Uh, and then we strip the winch down and show the parts after a thousand uses. That's pretty neat. All on the video. So don't just take our word on it. We can back up every, all our claims with, with, with information and demonstration. So uh, awesome products and amazing transparency when it comes to yeah, those products. Absolutely, yeah. We can back up everything we say about our products. That's awesome. A lot of, and that's what a lot of companies are, a lot of companies in the industry are missing right now is, just the transparency and the back in their products of, of what they can do. And that's great. Um, I'm excited to add y'all into our catalog of products that we're offering. Um, we've been missing on a bunch of winches and hopefully now that we've partnered with y'all with war winches, we are going to fill that void in the market right now. We really hope so. Yeah. And we, we appreciate you again. We're a new brand. So you're you're taking a chance with us. We don't think there's a we don't think it's a chance, obviously, but we appreciate it, and we appreciate that everybody who comes forward and wants to work for us, we really appreciate. It. Absolutely, awesome. Well, thank you for being our yeah. first uh, podcast episode this morning. Thank you. At early, early start. So, and uh, we look forward to like like you said, look forward to working with you in the future and kind of keeping that relationship going. I appreciate you guys having me on here and uh, I look forward to uh, talking again in the future. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, guys, appreciate it for joining and uh, you can get Jeff's information and where to check his product out on, on the link below and uh, stay tuned for the next one.